We're out for dinner in Ikebukuro at Senjo Handmade Gyoza. Now this is one of the very few places that does vegetarian gyoza and they do meat gyoza as well, which is really good. Normally gyoza in Japan always have minced meat, usually pork in them. So this is a pretty rare find and it's been on my list of places to go for quite a while, but I never made it here until now. As you can see, it's a really small place and I've heard sometimes you have to wait uh, to, get to be seated and we're hungry early so it seemed like a good idea today. By this point we've been awake for way too long. We got up at 3am to get our flight and landed at 9am Japan time which is 1am in the UK. So apart from on and off sleep on the plane we've actually been up for about 30 hours and haven't checked into our hotel yet. I also forgot to eat all day and I'm actually starting to get a bit dizzy by this point so I was definitely ready for some gyoza. This place doesn't look like much from the outside and it's not fancy at all, but that's not what matters. The food was great. Look at these on the side of Yuzu. That's, yeah, that'd be really nice. Look at these ones, they're kind of beauty and healthy. <laughs> Look at these, they look amazing. <laughs> it's so colourful. So this half is my vegetarian gyoza and that half is filled with meat and fish. There's some vegetable in there as well. They look amazing. Mm. These are actually Taiwanese style gyoza. They're larger than the Japanese ones with thicker wrappers. We got some vegetable soup on the side. Looks good. Yeah, they've got different fillings as well. This one's got sort of greens in the middle and the white one had spinach and a mixture of vegetables. We both really enjoyed that. It was a good meal, mm. really good flavour. Uh, there were a couple of different types of gyoza with different fillings. I think the colours of them were random. <laughs> there was one of mine had sort of grains in it, another one had spinach and vegetables, and then another one had um, kind of a mustard flavour. That was an unusual one. I had a good there might have been about five different flavours in there. Some were definitely quite fishy, some were quite meaty, some were just vegetable -y. I had a mustardy mm. one as well, mm. and it was really nice. I'd say uh, the stuff we had in Osaka probably had a nicer flavour overall, but it was really good to have such a variety here. Like, there mm. were things I wouldn't have necessarily picked. I, I um, didn't have any ghosts in Osaka. Yeah. I had a potato and an onion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But when, uh, when we went in, she just sort of said, oh, uh, are you hungry? And are you, uh, she asked if you're a vegetarian or whatever. So she, she just said, well, here's a 10 piece set. So she sort of recommended it. And I'm really glad it worked out that way because I got to try stuff I wouldn't normally have. Yeah, definitely. And she spoke um, really good English and she mm. understood what vegetarian is, which I don't think everybody mm, does. Yeah. Um, and she can cater for vegans as well, I think, yeah. and other special diets. So you're all, all good there. Now, there were six seats in that place. So yes, it's so <laughs> tiny. Three tables, two, ta two seats each. I think there was an extra chair that you could have. Um, so if it's a big party of you, this is not the place to go. Um, but for a couple, maybe four people, then yeah, it, it's a nice place to go and try some stuff. And there was a menu with some things that looked like they'd be really delicious. Mm, you like the look of the yuzu yeah, dumplings, Yeah, and you? if I was a little bit more hungry, I probably would have ordered an extra set of them mm. uh, just to try them out. And there was loads of them, you think, oh, that, that'd be nice. And I don't know if I'd ever get to try them elsewhere. So yeah, it's recommended. It's a good place. Yeah, we would sound more enthusiastic <laughs> if we weren't so tired. Yeah. We just arrived in Japan today and we are ready to drop right now. Yeah, it's only, <laughs> oh, it's five o'clock now. <laughs> it feels like it's yeah. about midnight. So we're going to go and check into the hotel, get maybe a couple of hours of sleep and then go out tonight and find some more food, drinks, <laughs> maybe. Maybe, if we can manage it. Yeah. But gyoza, all good. Yes, really good. I enjoyed it. I forgot to say the bill was 2,370 yen for the two of us. We had 10 gyoza each. She said she gave us the soup for free as a present. <laughs> we didn't have any drinks with that, we just had water. And the gyoza were actually pretty big, bigger than the ones you normally get frozen that we cook at home. And she had handmade them all from scratch. So you could tell they were quality gyoza. Senjo Handmade Gyoza is just a short walk from Ikebukuro Station. On Google Maps, it's called Washi Handmade Dumpling Shop. 
Most restaurants in Japan don't have any vegetarian options at all. Even if dishes look like they don't have meat in them, they often contain fish stock. So if, like us, you're a vegetarian traveling together with a meat eater, I've made a list of places you can both enjoy. It's on my website and the link's in the description. There's lots of other ideas on my channel and there's a playlist for you called Vegetarian in Japan. And I'll be back next week. Before heading off up to Hokkaido, I'm going to show you Team Lab's Borderless, the digital art museum in Tokyo. It was so good, so creative and really fun. I'll see you on Thursday.